Hello guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the active ragdoll that I made. So yeah, this is basically what he looks like. And wait, let me turn my mouse on. You can basically just like make him grab stuff like this, but um, you can like control him and he can move his arms and you can control where his arms are like with your camera basically like human fall flat so now let me just like pick up this cube I can just pick it up like this and yeah and then I can just like drop it and yeah this guy is just basically like just a rag doll just a normal rag doll and um let me just close this and move this over to here So yeah, he just falls down, and yeah. So yeah, he's just a rag doll, and he has all the limits and stuff. So um, let me just make this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. He's just a rag doll with all the limits and just a normal rag doll. So um, let me just show you all the components. So. Um, his feet have hinge joints that are connected to his um, lower legs. Um, his upper, his lower legs have hinge joints connected to the upper legs. The upper legs are connected to his body, which just has a rigid body. And the chest has a rigid body and a fixed joint, and the fixed joint is connected to the body. Then he has these upper arms, and they just have configurable joints connected to the chest and then his lower arms just have hinge joints connected to the upper arms and the hands have configurable joints that are connected to the um, lower arms and these are just the properties of the configurable joints so you just basically want to lock all of these things so it's basically like a fixed joint you could probably use a fixed one instead. So yeah, that's basically it. And the head's just a hinge joint and a rigid body and stuff. So yeah, he's just a um, rag doll with hinge joints and for the arms, configurable joints. But yeah, so I'll show you what you need to do. So the first thing that you're going to do is select everything that has a hinge joint. So it's basically everything except for the like the body and the chest and the arms and the hands and then you're probably just gonna want to press use spring and then yeah let's just see what this does yeah so he's just like all springy and stuff now and yeah it works and so first we need to make him balance now so how do we make him balance well I've made a tutorial on this in the past before and basically what you do is you just like have to make a new like empty game object call it like whatever you want I'm just gonna call it balance thingy and then go to the body add a configurable joint and then you put the balance thingy here oh wait the balance thingy needs a rigid body and you can set this for to end kinematic and then the body is just gonna have this balance thingy set to the connected body and then everything's the same except for the this angular x drive which should be probably like 1000 and then 5500 for the damper so yeah, 1,500, and then you can see, um, I just have to add one thing to this, which is going to be the balance script. You can get all of these scripts that we have, um, in the description below. So, yeah, we just put this balance script on the balance thingy, and then you just have to put in the body, which is the body, and then... What this basically does is, is it just puts the um, balance thingy um, at the body. So yeah, 
it's pretty simple and then we can just play and yeah he just tries to stand up no matter what you do okay we can like get this thing crush him with this and then He's still standing up, and let's just delete this now and see how he gets up. Yeah, he just stands up. Yeah, okay. Now he can balance, but now what we want to do is make him walk. So, like, to make him walk, let's just, like, take him, rotate him so he's, like, facing, like, 90. No. Yeah, this is good rotation. So now he's just facing forward, and we can make him walk. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how we're basically going to make him walk just by going into play mode and showing you this. So if we select his leg and then set the target position to like minus 90, then his leg goes out, you see? But, um, yeah. So this is basically how we can animate him, but how we're going to do this is we're actually going to use the animation tab to, to animate a walking animation so I've already done this and like this is basically what the animation does like changes the spring joints yeah so this is what it kind of looks like so the walk script which is also in the description what this does is it just gets the inputs and if he's walking then it's going to play the animation walk, which is what you have to name it. You have to name it this, and you have to make a new animation called idle. And then you have to use left leg dot use spring equals false. Right leg dot use spring equals false. And these you should set to the lower legs. So I'm just going to show you. Also, I need to show you this first. Um, so this is what it should be. So you need to create a new thing like this, create state empty, and then name it idle. But yeah, I already have this, and now what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you this. So I'll add a walking script to this guy, so walk, and then we'll put the animator in, which is this animator, con, is the bounce thingy. I just call the bounce thingy com a lot in this. So if you see com, it's basically bounce thingy. And then the camera is the main camera. I We haven't set the camera up yet though, so it's not really gonna work, but left leg is the lower left leg. And then down leg, or, yeah. So now we can hit play and see how this works. And you see when I press W, he walks forward. When I press, yeah. When I press um, S, he turns around and he walks backwards. Except it's not really working yet, which is because I just have to, instead of setting the cam to main camera, we just have to set it to camera rot which has a script called camera rot on it which you can just add to a empty game object so just make an empty game object add camera rot and add, and in the real camera place put main camera this is just for like some complicated stuff let's just like to make the camera like work so he just walks in the right direction so i'm just gonna um use the camera rot instead and in the camera rot script, you just set this to the main camera. Now it should work perfectly fine. And so when you press W, he walks forward. When you press um, S, he turns around and walks backwards. When you press D, he'll walk this way. A, he walks the opposite way. So yeah, what this is basically doing is it's basically turning this con, which is the bounce thingy, is basically just rotating the bounce thingy, which rotates the player, kind of. So yeah, the next thing I gotta show you is um, how to set up the camera. So I'm 
also going to include a camera script. So let me find the main camera. Then you have to add the camera script. And let me just remove this and then add it again so I can show you how this works. So camera. Then the camera offset should be like minus 10. And then this should be like maybe like minus 50 and like 85. This will be everything except for the player, which you should make the player be the player in the layers. Actually, I just set the not aiming target to the head and doesn't matter what the aiming target is because we're not doing that stuff yet. So let's just play now. So when you play, you can see just the camera wor works and it just goes around the head. And yeah, it's pretty smooth so you don't see it like bumping a lot. But like if it does, you might want to set it to the common stuff. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is grabbing, which yeah. It's pretty simple. Um, you just take the arms. Oh, okay, let's just take the arms, both the up arms, and then add the arm script. The cam is just gonna be the main camera. Camera is gonna be camera. This camera right. Then com is the balance thingy. The lower arm is basically just their lower arm. This. And then this one's gonna be this. Then just set can use to true and then. Okay, hey Aaron. Yeah? So I put a, I had a great idea. So I put a glass outside because it's raining. And now I'm gonna drink some rainwater. Oh, that's a horrible idea. Oh! Rainwater's the best. Cool. I'll just stay here. I won't bother you. Oh, really? <laughs> Dang it. You need to stay in there. Or get it out of here. Fine, let's... Is this hot water or cold water? Hot water. Very hot water. Yeah, so get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. No. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. So get out of here. <laughs> So for the left arm, it's probably just going to be um, mouse zero, where is that, uh -huh, here, and then for this, it's just going to be mouse one, that's what I use, but you can use whatever you want, and yeah. So just select both of the up arms, then add a target to them by, um, just do create empty, and then that adds a child to both of them, name it target. And then set the rotation to 90 on the x axis. Then for the this, just set it to set the targets. Okay, so um, you also need to set the target mode to true, and then we can play. Now let me make it big screen, and then yes, it works, but. If I go over to here, we can like like aim our arms up and down by using the camera. But if I go over to here and um, just try to grab this, it doesn't pick him up because we don't have the grab script yet. So we'll add the grab script to the hands. And your player should have these hands. My player has hands here. And you just add a component called like grab, which is one, another one of the scripts that is in the description. The grab key is gonna be whatever the um the thing is for your upper arm. 
so it's just going to be the same. I'm going to set um, mouse 0 for this one, then mouse 1 for the right hand. And can grab should be true for both of them. It's can grab just makes it like possible for them to grab stuff or not. So let's play and try to grab something. So now when we grab, it can grab stuff and yeah, we can like stop holding it by stop pressing the mouse button and yeah, it works. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, and please subscribe and hit the bell.